Hello and welcome to the Methelia Sims. Let's that 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 speed build. Yeah, fluffing up words. Um, decided to do a townhouse uh, again in uh, Luna Island. This is Nate's Beach Bungalow. Can't remember what lot it's for. Uh, I have uploaded it to the exchange, not to the website yet. So. I want to put that details at the beginning. Uh, there's a lot of jump cuts. Fraps kept playing up with me, and this is like my third attempt of recording this narrative as well, because my computer is playing up a lot. Just picking fences and stuff, and railings and stuff, because apparently they're really hard to match up. I ended up having to redo this rear, the back deck. It's really annoying. Yeah, here is me fixing the back, and I just decided to just destroy the rear deck and rebuild it. It's just easier. There is no footage of me furnishing the house, but I do have retexturing the furniture, at least, because the corning messed up, and I really didn't feel like redoing that. This does require most of, actually no, it requires everything I have um, as far as expansions and content like that. Um, don't use any store content though. I don't do store content. I sometimes buy the clothes, but not much else. I can't remember if this gets usable, but I don't think so. There's also a large jump cut where I changed the colour of the fence because nobody wants to sit through that. And I just had to go, mm, might as well just flatten the terrain. A hot tub does go in that rear deck, but I don't think you'd be able to place it normally. I think that's a move objects on only, and there's a garage, which I'm not quite sure what cars you can put under it. I did put like the second largest one I had available to me under it. It did fit, ish. So you'll definitely be able to fit a sports car or something like that underneath there. In your doors, pick one from the university because they look kind of nice. And me leaving my cheats on again. And this is the jump cut where I retexture the furniture. Living room is pretty basic as it is. Study is probably my favourite room. Uh, this house is also not too badly priced considering the size and everything you get. Uh, 
I didn't really scrimp on anything. No wall mount flat screens because wall mount flat screens can't go on a wall with windows. <laughs> uh, the bathroom that was annoying because it turns out I hadn't left enough space for it. But there you go. You could remove the study and turn it into a um. What was it? Uh, another bedroom? If you really needed to, uh, there's enough room for I think a double bed or two singles. That'll be not much else. It is a four by four room. Dining room, pretty basic. I did forget to put some paintings up, but I'll leave that to the downloadies of the map. And this is the cut where I change the colour of the fences. You see, I'll just magically jump and boom, bed's coloured. Just recolouring the floor. So I thought a, a dark wood would look better. Especially with his light axe accenting pens. Sticking the gate in. I have to extend it out. So picking a gate that went with this fence is really hard because there's not really one that does it. So I just stuck with this one. Some terrain paint. Doing some gardening at the front, and then I end up using the floor tiles. Can't paint over, try and paint over floor tiles technique to get to change the colour around a bit. in there. Just making sure that everything's finished at this point. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, putting some lights in above the car. Did this with move objects on though, so I'm not quite sure what will fit under. I did change the light intensity though. It's a bit too bright. As you see, it's just like light everywhere and this is the front of the house you can see you know, where it's located and the rear deck this is the study area notice moving image <laughs> I think it's probably my most favorite room in the house this is the kitchen. See so that wall is very, very blank. Pure, pure because I've got stuff on it. Uh, the dining room again. Blank walls. Lack of pots. I think I just ran out of 
even when I got to that point. Living room, some lamps, stereo TV, you know, usual stuff that you would have. The outside deck area where there's a snow cone machine. Because Adam Jensen didn't ask for this. By the way, that is what the sim is based off of, just so you know. Uh, I do have a mod for his clothes and stuff. I didn't make it, obviously. Just the other view of the other uh, the other view of the deck area. Bedroom, very simple, very clean, very nice. The bathroom, very compact. But there's two sinks in there, a bathroom and a shower. And this is the under house garage. Uh, as you can see. You don't get that car, by the way. Floor plans. Another floor plan of the inside of the house. And a floor plan of the rear deck. This has been the Mercedes Sims with Mate Beach Bungalow.